Hey guys, welcome back. This is video number six, uh, drawing a barbarian archer. Uh, sorry, it's been a while since I've done a video. I had a lot of work on at uni. Uh, got a couple of weeks off now, so hopefully I get a couple done. Right, so I started off by... I'd, I'd already done a bit of research into some poses for archery, looked into things. Uh, as soon as this is going to be a barbarian, I looked into some things such as armour, you know, clothing, whatever they were. I pretty much just looked on Google, so I didn't do as much as I could have done. But I wanted a lot of this to be off the top of my head because a lot of what I do normally involves copying other people's work. Uh, you know, I'm not too good at making stuff up myself. So I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with the outcome. You'll see that at the end. Right, so I started off by using sort of seven, seven or eight heads, I think, to get the full structure laid out. You could see that's what the lines are at the beginning in the background. Uh, I then begin filling them in as a stick man to start with and then eventually sort of well, let's call them tubes, adding tubes to each bit, for example, the arms, instead of a stick, you know, you've got a tube, you build on it, eventually adding mu each muscle in until you've got a rough idea of what it's going to look like. Then on a separate layer, I just used a, it's all one colour, just a skin colour, starts off as a flat colour just to colour it in so that if you took the lines away, you would have a silhouette of how the character's going to look. And then using the same colour, this is all the same colour, just a different different shade, I guess, um, decided where I want the lighting to be, which in this case, top left. And yeah, this is all just using lighter shades. And you can see already how it sort of brings the form together. You don't need the lines there anymore. And well, hopefully, you can see each muscle, you can see where everything is. I mean, you need to have a basic sort of idea of anatomy, I guess, but anyone can do it really. Uh, once you've done that, I pre well, once I did that, I zoomed in, just added a bit more detail. For example, on the face, started adding some, some sort of wrinkles, cheekbones, a bit more detail around the nose. Uh, a lot of what makes it look real or makes it look better, should I say, is all about the lighting. You know, getting shadows in the background, drop shadows, for example, from his arm onto his chest. Uh, with the hair here, uh, I'm pretty new to using Photoshop. This is the first video in Photoshop. Uh, my last ones were in my paint. I start. I actually wanted to experiment using textured brushes, which hopefully you can see that I've used in that really basic brush. Just has a couple of dots. Uh, it's like using several brush strokes at once, but it worked out pretty well. I mean, he looked, licked, he looked a bit smooth with his hair at first, like he was off a L'Oreal advert or something, which you know didn't really suit a barbarian. So I just went in with a normal brush afterwards, just sort of stroked in a few rough bits. Right, and then so basically went in, zoomed in, did a bit more on hair in terms of facial hair. Used the same brush, a textured brush, uh, but because I'd done it, I'd made the brush quite small. When you zoom out, you can't actually see as much of the sort of individual hairs, but it's a bit late now. Um, I did a bit more facial hair, gave him a like mustache and beard type thing, but he kind of kind of ended up looking a bit more like Jesus than a barbarian. But <laughs> oh well, he still looked pretty good, I reckon. So. Um, Next was actually on a separate layer doing a tattoo. I really like the idea of if he's a barbarian, you know, he's going to have some sort of cool tattoos. Um, these are all on a separate layer. At first, they didn't come out too smooth. I did have to zoom in, sort of neaten them all up a bit. And when it comes to sort of going over with, a, well, not a different colour. I use the red, but a darker shade. I turn on what I think is called transparent pixel locks. Or it's something like that on Photoshop, one of its features, and it basically makes you make sure you don't go out the lines. So it's really useful that. At this point here, I'm just literally blocking in where the armor's going to go. Uh, there'll be a lot more on the armor on the second video. It turned out really good, I actually did the armor again using textured brushes, uh, which I'm new to, but I'm really happy with the way that it turned out using how it, the effect was meant to be a sort of rusty iron look. Um, there I put in a sort of symbol on his on his buckle, let's call it, but ended up not having that because I couldn't decide on a symbol. And even there with the fur, uh, again using the same textured brush as the hair, I do go over the fur a bit because it, it looked more like straw, to be honest. That's it for part one. Uh, if you liked it, please watch part two where we go into a lot more detail with the armour and other features using more textured brushes and things like that. Cheers.